Did you know you can assign action items to other people in Google Drive and then pull up a list of all of your action items? Let's take a look at how. First I'm going to create a new document with docs.new and then I'm going to imagine I have a meeting and I want to assign some action items from that. So I'm going to start off by adding in my meeting notes project meeting here and I will add the link to that smart meeting notes see the video in the description for more about how that works now under action items that are kind of added automatically through these this is not going to actually assign anything by putting notes here so if I type my action here whatever the situations might be I can add a person's name here. I can even smart chip someone here, but that is not assigning this to the person. If I want to actually assign it, I do it with a comment. So I will highlight the words I want to add a comment to. I can go to the insert menu and choose comment here. You'll notice there also is the keyboard shortcut on your device for adding a comment. Or the other thing I can do when I select my content is I can choose comment right from the toolbar on the top. And finally, the last way I can do it is over on the side, a little add comment icon here too. So once I've added my comment, when I want to assign it to someone, I can type at and the person's name. And then when I find them in the list, click to add them. Or I can do plus, start by typing the person's name, select it from the list, and that will add their email address. I can type in what I want here. The trick is to check the box for assign to that person. And then once I click on assign, they will be notified. Cool thing to note here, if anyone's using out of office and you try to assign something to them, you will see their out of office information there as well. So that might help you know when realistically you might get this assignment done. Click on assign and when I'm dealing with a document I haven't shared yet, it's actually going to prompt me to share this as well. So I can change the access the person will have here if wanted and click on comment. So this is similar to what the person you assigned it to will get an email for. They'll get an email with the information about this assignment. You'll see the keywords assigned you an action item. So if you want to find any of these in your own Gmail, you can do a search for this. It's going to show then a link to the document it was assigned from, the content that was highlighted where the comment was added, as well as the note that it was assigned to you. So you can click to open it in your actual email. You'll also see a way to reply right from here. And finally, there is a link here to go and view all of those assigned to you. So we'll click that as a little segue into what happens next. And clicking that takes you to Google Drive with the search terms follow-up colon action items populated. And then you'll see a list of documents with a little number in a circle of how many action items you have to follow up on there. And if I want to jump to any of these to follow up on it, I can click on the circle here and click on action item and it will open up that document, jump right to my first comment that was assigned to me so I can complete that action and address that. So it's jumped to the first topic here. I can go ahead and reply to this and click on the check to mark that it is this done. List and now I'll see that my first item here, I just completed, the circle disappeared. So next time I do this search, this won't be in the list anymore. So how do you get this list of action items right from Google Drive? Click on the search option toolbar and in the very bottom there's follow up and you can choose any to see suggestions that someone added to one of your documents or an action item someone assigned to you. I'll choose action items only, click on search and I'll see my list there. 